So here we are in part two, setting up our little network. This one here, you may remember that from part one. And we've made a bit of a start. We've already got, well, heaps, like a switch. One already. Now, we've done a few things. Um, we've set a, a message of the day banner. We've set that. We've set the host name. In fact, I changed the host name from the silly Steve through to something a little bit more sensible. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to set a console line and also the telnet line. Uh, we'll look at SSH in the next one. Do my uh, password, my secret password, which was Cisco. Uh, let's go into config mode now. Uh, what I'm going to do is set the console line, and to do that, you go line console uh, zero. Um, all the console, all the lines start with, with a number. Um, in fact, they start at zero. Um, and there's only one console line you can have, obviously, because you've only got one port to plug it into. Very first thing we can do is put a password on here. We'll have a look at how to do this a little bit differently later, but for now, let's just run with this. Put a password in there of Cisco. Uh, next thing, we're going to type in just login. Uh, what this means is that it's forcing a login on the console line. So if someone plugs a console cable in, uh, they have to put a password in. They have to log in. The other things I like to do is set the exact time out. This is the time that um, it will it will stay active. Um, if it's not active for whatever you put in there, or say 30 minutes, for example, uh, after 30 minutes it will cut you off. Um, you can set it to zero, which means that it won't cut you off at all, which is sort of what I like to do when I'm playing around in Packet Tracer anyway. Another one that I like to use is the logging synchronous command. What that does is it stops really annoying um, splits in your sentences. You may find that you'll get a few commands or a few messages coming up on the screen while you're trying to type a command uh, and it'll split the sentence. It, it can be just a little bit distracting. This will stop it. It'll actually keep everything on one line. Uh, that and a message that we had earlier, we can just apply that as well. Exit, done. We're going to do a telnet line next. Very, very similar. The difference is, is that potentially you've got a total of 16 telnet lines, which means that you could, in theory, have 16 people logging into your switch or router at the same time. Why you would ever want to do that, I don't know. You'd have to be insane, but you can do it. We use the same Thing. We'll have once again we'll have a look at changing that a little bit later. We'll put a password, Cisco, all the rest of the stuff exactly the same. Uh, login, exact timeout. This one I will actually put a timer on, I'll just put say 30 minutes on that one. Logging synchronous and the messages day banner. That's it, we're done. We're actually now configured our console line, our telelet line. So if I exit right out of this, uh, press return to get started. First of all, you'll notice we've got our little banner message up there, no unauthorized access. Before we can get anywhere, we need the password. And if you type it right, you actually get into this mode. If I want to get into um, enable mode or what they call privilege mode, I also need a password. And then we're in. Then we can start actually doing some configuration. Okay, next time we'll have a look at uh, configuring SSH. There's a little bit more involved in that. Pretty straightforward, but we'll have a look at doing that. Um, and we may even add another switch or maybe even a PC.